Okay, so now let's just go and let's put in some content from our actual content source for this featured post here. And then we'll go through and on a different video, we'll show how to paginate some of this stuff. So let's come back over here to our template here inside our blog.svelte. And this is the section that we're going to replace with our content source. Now we just have to determine which content source we actually want to do that to. So I think the best thing to do here is let's just come through here and say blog post one is what we want to feature. I'm just going to add another key here. And I'll say featured and I'll just say true. I'll save that and then over here in our blog we could say each loop like this and instead of filtering by content type and getting all the posts we could say content fields featured And since that evaluates to true, you don't have to do a condition. So basically saying, if this is true, then give the post. And this is an optional chaining. So we're not sure if we're going to have the featured key. So a lot of these posts don't have them. We don't want to error out. So we're going to do that optional chaining just like that. And let's just come here and let's end our each loop here. And then let's come through and let's just replace all this content like we did before. So this is going to be post dot fields image source and this is going to be oops post dot fields dot image dot alt and we'll have our posts.path and our posts.fields.title. We also have our body here. So this is going to be very similar to our last one. So let me get rid of this. And I'll actually just come down here. I'll copy this again because we're going to, I think over here, yeah, it's, it's truncated kind of like the other ones are. Yeah, exactly. And they look like they're a lot shorter than the ones we did here. So we probably want to truncate this even more. So let's come down here and let's change this to 100. And then let's come and let's grab this so we can use this again. So we're going to truncate it. We'll replace any HTML just like that. And I'll copy that and let's put that up here in this paragraph. And then we have the link here. So again, the link here is going to be the post.path and read more can say as it is. So let's save that and see what happens there. So come here, reload this. Okay, so we have a couple of issues. Some of this is coming through though. So the title is coming through, that's nice just this image is not coming through correctly. And I think that's because we actually forgot to prepend this with assets. So make sure you're sourcing this from your assets folder. Save that. Let's give that a reload. Okay, so now we have our content coming through. So maybe 100 is a little too short. Maybe we want something like, I don't know, 150? 175, I'm not sure. 175, let's try that. 175, so that's where we're truncating the characters. Let's come back over here, reload that. Oops, that's the wrong site. Let's do it on our site. Okay, so that's a little longer now. Okay, so that's getting a lot better. Now, we could change the featured post. So for instance, we're featuring that post right now, but now all we have to do here is we come back to our content source. So let's move it from post one We'll grab featured here, delete that, get rid of the comma. And let's put this over on post two now. 
and we can feature a different post just by changing the content source. So save that. So if we're looking at the blog page, this is post one that's currently featured. If I reload this, you see post two is now currently being featured. All right, that should be good for setting up the basic index page that aggregates all the blog posts with a single content type. Now, on the next tutorial, we'll go through actually paginating this and we'll make sure that it's server rendered pagination so you can actually do hard refreshes and share links with folks. And stay tuned for that coming up soon.